What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we're going to talk about champions. Now there's been a saying around for I don't know how many years, I think it was on a t-shirt I saw or something like that, it said, uh, you know, one of them was champions don't talk, they perform. And that always stuck with me for a long time because, you know, there was always that guy in wrestling, like high school wrestling and stuff, who never really talked shit, but he'd get on the mat and fucking wipe the mat with everybody. He would just fucking just destroy people, you know, and you always had the guy who was, you know, in baseball who, you know, really didn't say much but would fucking knock the ball out of the park almost every single time or make the double play or fucking, you know, jump over the fucking the fence to get the, you know, the, to get the pop fly or whatever it was and, and get the guy out instead of letting him get the home run. It's always that, that champion who is going to push themselves a little bit further who doesn't really sit there and squawk a lot before they do it. It always surprises people, but... They seem to be the one that shines, that shining star in the middle of the fucking game. And, you know, that was one of the sayings. The other saying is, champions are not born, they're made. Now, here's the one that I have to disagree with wholeheartedly. I don't believe that you can make a champion. I don't believe any coach can take someone and mold them into a champion and mold them into a top player and mold them into somebody that just is like a machine and, and, and just does these amazing things. I don't believe that one bit. I don't believe that the heart that comes with that champion is made. I believe that you are born with a certain something, and I believe that everyone is actually born with that ability, but some people can't tap into it. So that hence, they, you know, they're made. They're not made. They're born. Champions are absolutely born, and they are born with that, that killer instinct and that ability to do what they have to do to get the job done, and they're also born with the ability to let that come out. They're born with the ability to let that be molded. They're born with the ability to go further than the other person, training-wise, to have a perfect practice, to be perfect in the game. You know, that, that, that's born. That's not taught. You know, and you see the, the, the coaches who, you know, have these shining stars, and they say, this is my shining star, and da 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 and, you know, we've, we've honed him, and we've trained him, we've done this, we've done that. But when the coach first sees that person, he sees that light in them to begin with. You know, something about that person sets them apart. Like the track coach who, you know, has this superstar, okay, in high school, heard from the gym teacher that there's a kid running fucking six-minute miles. And the kid's got some kind of crazy 40-yard 40, uh, 40 sprint fucking time. Well, that was already there. So now what they do is the track coach takes that kid and says, hey, would you like to be a, you know, a runner? I have this program, and we can try to get you a scholarship to Harvard and all this stuff. And all you have to do is just listen to my, you know, my coaching and we'll, we'll get you there. So that kid says yes. Next thing you know, this champion becomes. Well, that champion was always there. He was in gym class. He was in gym class smoking the other kids probably since fucking first grade. No one ever paid attention and saw it. You know, let's look at uh, Usain Bolt. Now, here I love talking about this guy because you're saying, let's say, for some reason, never found out the fact that he could run the way he didn't have the talent he did. You could have wound up like working at fucking TJ Maxx. He could have been a fucking fisherman. I mean, he could have been fucking all these different things in the world other than Usain Bolt, the fastest man in the world. But what happened was he was born with this talent and he was born with the heart of a champion, period. And someone saw that and recognized it and progressed that. Whether he saw that in himself and made himself, you know, get opportunities or made opportunities for himself to be seen by the right people, to take that and nurture it, he's still who he is from when he was born. He was born with the ability, and he was born with that heart, and he was born with that drive, and that warrior attitude. So, you know, like I said, there's a lot of people out there that may have that, and it's never recognized, and they never fulfill their full potential in something, whether it's, you know, running or mathematics or fucking, you know, woodworking or who the fuck knows, you know. But, I mean, we'll stick with athletics because there's no woodworking champions. Last time I checked, but <laughs> there could be, I don't know, maybe there's woodworking competitions. But, you know... Those people are born with that ability. They're not, it's not made. You don't take a person who, you know, completely has no athletic ability and no drive and no fucking, you know, ability to fucking play any sport and hone them into the best in the fucking world because you have the fucking key as a coach. That doesn't happen. You know, and I know a lot of people, that I don't think anybody out there would, would say, I'm not a fucking true champion. I'm not this. I'm not. Everybody thinks they're a fucking champion. Everybody thinks they're a fucking superstar. Everybody thinks they're the fucking best. Everybody thinks that they were born with more heart than the fucking next person. Until you see that fucking person that has that heart. And you're like, fuck. You know what I mean? Like, you just... It's an awe-inspiring thing to see someone with the innate ability to push themselves beyond the rest of the pack. 
push themselves beyond the pain barrier, push themselves under any circumstance to be better than they were the day before, which actually just happens to be the best at what they do, just because they can, just because they have it in them. Sometimes they don't even realize they're doing it, but they're doing it because they have nothing to measure it against other than what they did the previous day. And they best that. That is something amazing to watch when you see that. And I love watching the Olympics and stuff like that. I love watching, you know, um, any kind of world title fucking sport where, you know, whether it's boxing or whatever, you see the best. And you say that person wasn't just born with the tools to be able to do that. They were also born with a heart to get them there to go through that grueling training. You train, you know, let's say... Um, for a minute on stage, 90 seconds, a minute and a half. For a minute and a half on stage, you train how many fucking hours a year? You go through how many things outside of the gym? How much pain outside of the gym on a fucking diet? You do how many hours of fucking cardio for 90 seconds on fucking stage? You try to tell me that doesn't have some kind of drive and determination that you're born with? You think that everybody in the world can do that if you just fucking usher people along and fucking teach them what to do? I train people for a living. I know when I see someone, whether they have that heart in them. I know when I see someone, whether they're going to push themselves. I know by keywords that they say. I know by attitude, body language, all that stuff, whether or not that person has been born with that in them. And you try to get out as much as you possibly can out of that individual. As a coach or a trainer, you always know that they have something left. Why? Because the human spirit, the human body always have more left. Until you're dead, you can always push harder. Period. I don't give a fuck who you are. That's how it works. Period. But... Do they have that mental ability? Are they born with the ability to push? Are they born with the ability to say, I don't give a shit if I fucking die right here on the floor. I'm going to get two more fucking reps until this fucking weight crushes my fucking skull and kills me. Or I'm going to get the fucking weight off my chest. That's what's going to happen right now. Do they have the ability to look at a 500 pound squat and say, I'm going to fucking go until I'm completely buried under that fucking weight. I have the catches up so it'll fucking catch. I'm not going to get hurt. But I'm going to go till I fucking cannot go anymore and pass out, puke, throw up, fucking get a hernia, whatever the fuck happens, but I'm going to do it. Do they have that fucking killer instinct? That is something you're born with. It's not made. It's born. Biowashertraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biowashertraining.com is the blog and where champions are born and not made bicep, which some of you may not agree with, but oh well. And we're out.